Hi, I'm Nancy with Icon Apprentice and thanks for joining me again. I'm thinking that this may be our final video. Uh, today we are finishing up Our Lady of Fatima and she is just beautiful. We have a few things left for us to do which would be the crown of thorns around this globe, the lettering inside which is heart, H-E-A-R-T, we also have to uh, outline the robe. We need to uh, outline flesh. We need to put in our rosary here. And then we'll put in our um, halo line around the halo, which is going to be redder. We need to do our lines, our pen ruling lines, which the inner one, I believe, is unbleached titanium. And the outer border is going to be red earth. So let us go ahead and say our prayers and offer up our intentions as we write our prayers into this icon. All right, so the first Thing that we're going to do, let's outline Mary's robe. And to do that, we are going to use our liner brush. And I'm using this uh, Low Cornell Comfort 3050 script, uh, but you can use any liner brush that you're comfortable with as long as it gives you a nice uh, straight edge. So uh, suit yourself. We are going to be using Antique Green, Nimbus Gray, and adding a touch of unbleached titanium to the whole mixture. And so what I am going to do is use my larger brush to mix this up. And we'll be putting a little bit of flow medium in there. I'm just going to pick up a touch of that. So one of the things to remember when we're painting, um, if the flesh goes in front of fabric, that's going to be outlined. If the fabric falls in front of the flesh, the, the fabric itself will be outlined. So those are things that you just want to kind of watch for.
So as you can see, the crown of thorns is just kind of a wavy line. And you want to make sure that you're getting enough on here. Just go up and down. And when we come back in on top and below, So while we're waiting for everything else to dry, we're going to go ahead and put in her rosary. And that is going to be painted in dioxazine purple. And you can see how it's draping over the hand, down past the medallion, and behind the hand as well coming down. So I'm just going to take the largest brush that I have, which is the number six right now, and we're just going to begin laying in those colors.
right, so we are ready to do our ruling pen lines, and those lines are going to be uh, all on the inside of the border next to Mary, and I'll show you how we're going to do that. I have a, uh, it's a Alvin uh, basic bow. Uh, it's a compass, but it also has a stylus and a handle that we'll be using to do our ruling pen lines. And if you can see, there's a gap between there. Can you see that? Paint goes in here. Hopefully we have our paint thin enough, but not too thin so that it runs out. And the way that we're going to be laying this down is going to be, I'll be placing a ruler, uh, have this taped off so it doesn't go any further than the edge. I'll have a ruler here. I'll fill the stylus with paint and then we'll lay it down and pull it across then with our ruler. We will set the ruler up, get it about where we want it here. Get our stylus filled with paint. Hopefully you can see how I'm doing this. Clean off the top, clean off the bottom. It looks like we're pretty good to go. Hold on here, bring it down, and lay it down and start pulling your paint. Don't have to press too hard. Follow that ruler all the way to the end. Looks like we got a pretty nice line there. Make sure and clean the edge of our ruler off. in the halo line and then uh, if you take your color reference copy uh, we are going to be putting in the light rays emanating from Mary and once those are in we can put in our letters our words Our Lady of Fatima in you the unity uh, and then we will be ready then to uh, varnish and see how we like this. All right, so we are ready to do the halo line. And we are going to do that with red earth. Now I'll show you what I've done here. This particular compass set, the portion with the lead in it comes out. And then you can take this ruling pen line, uh, the uh, stylus, and put that in here. 
And then what we do is we find our halo point, we put the tip in, and then we adjust it. Once we get the paint in here, we'll lay it down. We'll come around and we'll make a halo line like this all the way around. And probably we're going to need to do two of the uh, red earth lines. And the third one, we may do a white line on the outside, which will be, I believe, Naples yellow here. Uh, I'll take a look and, and double check. But uh, we'll get ready and we'll get in here and do this halo. Hopefully I don't get in the way and you'll be able to see this. So our halo is dry, and now what we're going to do is we're going to lay in the rays of light emanating from Mary. And this is going to be done with Naples yellow hue, and we'll put these in. You can see where they come down, and they are crossing this border. So that's one of the reasons we put the border in already, because these lines come out and go over it. So I am going to draw these letters in by hand. Uh, I did not increase, I did not put that on my line drawing. So I'm just going to try to do this by hand. And I'll just keep my 
Zauberkarten. Hier in dem Hut, ne? Well, here she is. She is finished. We have everything on. And my recording stopped uh, while I did this, but I, I apologize. Uh, now we can uh, go ahead and varnish her, and she is ready to go. Thank you for joining me. I hope to see you next time. I would love uh, to have comments and feedback from you, 
and certainly uh, feel free to recommend uh, what you would like to paint next. Uh, thanks a lot, and this is Nancy from Icon Apprentice. Keep painting, stay creative.